He was great when we were young. He taught us how to throw. I mean, we started from the very basics when we were young and we had to learn how to throw properly when we were kids. And he would throw in front of the tennis balls in the beginning because he didn't want us to be afraid of the baseball. And that's how we started. I just remember being so delighted to have a, a younger brother and someone that you could always play with. Uh, he was always uh, ahead physically so he could hang out with my friends and he would be the first pick in the game, but he could hold his own with the older players. When I listen to him talk, it's, it's funny to hear his description of himself when he was playing with older guys, how he didn't think he was very good. Well, he was very, very good. <laughs> Gary's a good player. I mean, you're an All-American, an All-Pac-8 as a sophomore, too. He did it as a sophomore at Cal. He was very protective and very always very supportive. And I was a bit of a brat, because I used to sneak up behind him and smoke him in the back or something and run away. Gary couldn't catch me. I was too, I was too quick and uh, he'd chase me around the cars and just get so angry. And then the next morning I'd wake up and I'd go feed the dog or something and Gary would come and just whack me and go, that's for yesterday. <laughs> yeah, he had a little bit of mischief in him, you know, but, uh, and I was pretty easy going, you know, but every now and again he'd, uh, he'd, he'd get under my skin and then I'd say, I hit you in the face, but I can never do it. You know? I can never pull the, I can never pull the punch. <laughs> he just had a, an innate, ability to understand the game, uh, whether it was baseball or whether uh, as a point guard, he was all county point guard. He seemed to have the vision on the court. He always knew what, how the play was going to develop. He was way ahead of the, the game itself, just like in baseball at first base. That was the dream. Yep, I wanted to be a baseball player. It was nothing else I wanted to do. I, had, I would have had no idea where to go because my life was so consumed by baseball.